the average person, sometimes a cemetery headstone is all that's left permanently of their life. Pond five. Cemeteries are important places in the American landscape. They offer islands of calm and quiet in the middle of busy cities. They connect us with our individual and collective past, and they serve as the final resting place for most Americans. Cemeteries hold important information for historians who study gravestones, archival records, and landscape and architectural design. They're important sources of African American and other ethnic heritage. The history of the city can be found in the cemeteries. You can reach out to your ancestry, discover your past, and know why you got here now. Uh, for African Americans in particular, cemeteries are a place where we only come on holidays. We come Mother's Day, we come Fourth of July, uh, you know, we come at Christmas. Uh, but a cemetery is a live place. And so we're trying to help the African-American community to know that. Uh, there are, are people buried here who were uh, born into slavery at Monticello. Uh, the, the woman who was the enslaved uh, chief cook uh, for uh, Thomas Jefferson at Monticello, Edith Fawcett, she's buried here. This is where you come to know who you are and how you got here. walk through Cincinnati area cemeteries, you'll see gravestones that are dirty or covered with lichen like this one. You'll see lots that are broken, pushed over by vandals or broken by lawnmowers. Lots of the landscape is overgrown with grass, with weeds, twigs and fallen branches are everywhere. When you go into the offices, you'll see archival documents and records which are kept in terrible conditions. So Cincinnati Cemetery Corps is gonna set out to create a system that will solve a number of these problems for a broad range of Cincinnati area cemeteries. What's happened here is just not acceptable. Because one of the things about Potter's Field, you can look around me and behind me and you can see massive amounts of neglect. They haven't maintained this cemetery in any fashion since 1981. But beyond that, we don't even know where people are buried. We have records, historical records in high German, as this book over here, that's upstairs. We try to make sure that all the historical records such as that are upstairs. Uh, we have records in the basement, which we can go down and film. It's uh, they're in sad shape. Um, they're in a basement that's wet. We operate 25 cemeteries so that are all in a state of disrepair at this time and all need significant funds to make it to that perfectly preserved and continually operating state. It kind of got left with no one taking care of it from 1979 on and then I believe if I have my dates right in 1985 um, some juveniles got arrested for having uh, bones in their possession because uh, the erosion out here between three streams had started causing the graves to collapse. We have 200 years of archival records that are stored across this office space, um, the bulk of which are in the office we're standing in now, in cardboard boxes that are loosely labeled with their contents. Um, but they, the, this collection and specifically is not fully inventoried or documented what even is included in this at this point. The Greater Cincinnati area has more than 60 small cemeteries. Many of them are in disrepair. All of them could use more volunteers. But recruiting, training, and supervising volunteers is a big job and it's not one cemeteries are configured to do. Cincinnati Cemetery Corps will preserve and protect Cincinnati area cemeteries by recruiting and training teams of volunteers who can be matched with local cemeteries as needed. We have identified 13 areas of need common to most local cemeteries. The program will develop training curricula in these 13 areas and recruit and train volunteers who can be placed in local cemeteries to write grants, clean headstones, reassemble broken stones, do basic landscaping, properly catalog and store archival records, conduct genealogical and other historical research, document architectural resources and write National Register nominations, 
write and give walking tours, manage social media accounts, conduct site surveys, create research management systems, and do basic building conservation. We don't have anyone. We need volunteers to come and help us organize those things. Trying to get people to help. We had unlimited volunteers. We would have unlimited projects for them. Uh, we could, uh, obviously, 200 years of records. There's years worth of material to digitize. Um, once things are digitized, they need to be transcribed and categorized and tagged accordingly. We have records uh, that we uh, have, and we want to make sure that we can get them online so people can and use them. Uh, to come and uh, do their history for their families. Uh, also, the cemetery is a place we want to uh, not only remember, but educate and celebrate what is here. And so therefore we need volunteers to do touring. Uh, uh, we have so many wonderful people who are buried here. Uh, and the history is so rich and we don't want it to be forgotten. The volunteers could help a uh, number of Virginia touched on this by helping family members find their loved ones, uh, learning the grounds, um, maybe doing some plantings, trimmings, minor gardening type of work. The genealogical volunteers, we get calls regularly asking if people can help us do genealogy work, so that recruitment is really easy. Um, but the training, again, we don't have someone on staff currently who is dedicated to genealogy, and so we've only been able to take on volunteers who are already trained in how to do that work. We don't have enough hours in the day or the expertise to do it. Volunteers could be used in a variety of ways. Physical maintenance and clearing is obviously the first of them. Uh, maintaining the grave markers that are here is another. Finding grave markers that are buried is one. Also, just sitting at a desk. There's a lot of work to be done here at Potter's Field to recompile records. Um, we uh, asked our volunteers to come and to help with uncovering graves. We asked them also to, we had them come and trim bushes along the side of the road and especially over by the fences. Uh, we have them help set gravestones up and clean them. So those are some of the major things that we have them to do. Most things are not stored properly and archival help is one of the big things we are focused on right now. Um, I would just like to see it, the historic chapel be able to be used again for families, so for services, weddings, um, just to be able to have um, historical tours. Uh, we have bar barons here also. Uh, Herman from the Cincinnati Reds is buried here. You know, to have uh, some bike races, we've talked about that. We're gonna have a car show. Just to create a, a community where someone wants to come and on, to honor the loved ones that made it possible for them to be here and to be an American. A organized and a knowledgeable set of volunteers could make a massive amount of difference here at Potter's Field. Some new projects we could do are headstone cleaning, minor monument repair, there's always something to be painted. <laughs> uh, we do, we have in the past done um, individual events where we do like a teen volunteer day to plant flowers in the spring or bulbs in the fall. Um, the list could go on and on. <laughs> We're going to work on signs, re-signing the whole thing, and trying to put up some history uh, for all the well-known military history that's out here. Uh, Harlem Hellfighters, um, Black Hat, Blue Hats, um, Black Devils, um, Buffalo Soldiers, Civil War Vets, uh, one from the movie Glory from the 55th Massachusetts. So. There's lots of projects. We'd also like to use that money to do um, an information center and some self-guided tours. Everybody wants to come here, experience the surroundings, the environment, the quiet time, um, remember their loved ones.